Hit list posted on Instagram was the final straw for local law enforcement looking to end the violence in one of the country's most dangerous neighborhoods. Detroit's ninth precinct on the east side has been home to a gang war that has taken the lives of numerous young gang members and innocent bystanders. So a dream team of in Detroit's gang world, he was known as uh, Cocaine Sonny, a violent, brazen criminal who the feds say terrorized neighborhoods for years in the area. His crew dubbed 48205. That's the 48205, if y'all don't know. Drug dealing, threats, shootings, killings. Um, Sonny, some pronounce it Sonny, but I, uh, I believe it's Sonny. And his uh, cohorts did them all in Detroit's bloody 48205 zip code, prosecutor said. But his reign of terror. It's over. Corey Bailey, a.k.a. Co Cocaine Sonny, 31 years at the time, 31 years old at the time, a Seven Miles Bloods gang member, allegedly, from Detroit, was sentenced to two license um, in, uh, last week in U.S. District Court following his convictions on a slew of crimes, Rico conspiracy, murder in the aid of racketeering, attempted murder in aid of racketeering, and gun charges. Damn! Whew. According to prosecutors and trial evidence, Bailey was a part of a gang that long operated on the Detroit's east side between Gratiot and Kelly Road and between Seven and Eight Mile Road. Seven Mile Bloods have claimed this area in their territory and referred to it as the Red Zone in some of their rap lyrics. Over the years, Detroit police and feds have zoned in on this region where there's been an ongoing shooting war between Seven Mile Bloods and rival gangs stemming from a 2014 murder. These rival gangs have posted respective hit lists on social media, and that was the camera that broke the straw back right there when they really posted the hit list on social media. Prosecutors said, and their shooting war has led to increased homicides and non-fatal shootings on Detroit's east side, but the feds are trying to dismantle the empire one gang member at a time. Alongside Bailey, Seven Mile Blood gang member Orlando Shy, a.k.a. Grimy, and Ville, 30 of Detroit, and uh, Clinton Township was sentenced Tuesday to 18 years and four months in prison. He was convicted of RICO conspiracy in a 10-week trial last year with the jury deliberating for seven days before reaching their verdict. So that's, that's a lot of days to be reaching the verdict. They usually come back in an hour or two. Um, these sentences should send a clear message to other members of gangs operating the city of Detroit. Our community has no tolerance for the senseless murders and violence spread by the gang. Members, U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider said in announcing the sentences, Mr. Bailey and Mr. Shaw did not give a second thought to the lives they took, the harm they caused, or the terror in the community. Robert Brown II, a.k.a. R.O. 37 of Warren, who was awaiting sentencing on a RICO conspiracy, attempted murder and aid of racketeering and firearm convictions. Uh, you know, he'd he, he been convicted. This is a while ago. I'm reading from a while ago. Uh, Keithion Porter, a.k.a. KP, 33 in Detroit at the time, who was awaiting sentences, um, have uh, been convicted of a RICO conspiracy, murder in the aid of racketeering, attempted murder charges, so on and so forth. Now, I want to remind y'all that the feds will trump up a lot of charges, man. You could have deal with one thing knew about another and they bring artists and set it on your plate and hope that you cooperate it's not that they're doing such a good police job it's guys posting statements on now i'm about to read to y'all a little bit from the indictment i'm about to read to y'all a bit from the indictment federal documents nothing that i'm making up nothing that has anything to do with me part two video i'm going to actually actually post the lyrics that they use to indict them right now <clears throat> The SMB area is located in Detroit, bordered by Seven Mile Road on the south, Eight Mile Road on the north, Grasher Avenue on the west, and Kelly Road on the east. This area is the U.S. Postal Zip Code 48205, which the SMB Enterprise refers to as the Red Zone, right? It refers to these people, or this area, as the Red Zone or 48205. Um, they kind of really mean that too. I ain't gonna <laughs> worry too old die. That, that's kind of how it is. Um, the S and B Enterprise conducts much of its narcotics trafficking in the red zone. The S and B Enterprise consists of old members referred to as Fifty Five and junior members referred to as High Squad. On an S and B member, I have Maslamani, who was uh, convicted of murder in two thousand ten. The S and B utilizes many identifiers, including gang signs, etc., etc. Um, from what I hear, he was a real deal demon, Arab guy. Yeah. That's, so that's what they named Hob Squad after, and Hob Squad 
<laughs> yeah, it's that. But uh, the government gave examples where the rap tracks discuss actual events rather than abstract beliefs. Right? They were trying to say that this is just an expression of art, so on and so forth. But they said, no, nah, uh-uh, because uh, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna discuss the tracks um, in court. We're going to bring the court uh, Hard Work Jig featuring Cocaine Sonny, uh, a son titled OG, right? Which was posted on YouTube on December 15th, 2015. Co-defendant Bailey, a.k.a. Cocaine Sonny, raps about beating a murder charge. Ain't nobody seen nothing, but they all heard it. Not guilty was the damn verdict. On December 1st, 2010, a jury found... Bailey, which is Cocaine Sonny, not guilty of a 2009 murder of Ronald Calloway. Damn, he beat two body. Excuse me, beat a body or two, then went to prison for two. Boy, boy was really God. In the same video, co-defendant Hendrix raps about how he and uh, defendant Arnold was some of the first S and B members to do prison time. This is true because on January 9th, two thousand six, a jury convicted Hendrix of assault with a dangerous weapon, and he was sentenced to thirty two to forty eight months. On July twenty seventh, two thousand seven, Arnold was sentenced to forty seven to one hundred eighty months for his possession of a felon possession of firearm, assault intent to do great bodily harm, can't conceal a firearm, a felony firearm, and a slew of other charges that I'm not going to read. And the hard work jig song, Welcome to Hob City, posted to YouTube, March 8th, 2013, Hendrix sings about being from the red zone where they were quick to shoot drug dealing out of the trap. How everyone in the neighborhood was claiming red and flipping pills, indicating Rome, the defendant, um, Gooch, who was standing behind Hendrix in the video, taught Hendrix how to make money uh, selling this way and that way. And uh, an SMB member caught a body, then uh, showing the actual news coverage. That's, you know, uh, I ha. Or I already pronounce it now. I have no clue. Um, several defendants, including Jerome, Gooch, Derek Kennedy, and deceased member Devon McClure, uh, were all mentioned, right? They were they were all mentioned in the song. Uh, there's another song in Betrayal called Stop Bleaking. Uh, wrote a great post on YouTube, July 28, 2014. Co-defendants Robert Brown. Raps about bleaking, which the enterprises uses the slang for snitching or talking to, um, you know, the police. And um, in a track, Brown tries to intimidate witnesses from testifying, saying he killed them, which in both manner and means, as well as changed uh, racketeering charges, so on and so forth. So I guess when you beat a body or so and been accused of a bunch of them, when you put that in a rap, don't take that pretty literal. I know if I was beefing with you, I'd definitely, definitely take a literal because you, you're not playing. You ain't woofing like these guys. Um, they said the Seven Mile Bloods commonly referred to as a S and B is a, a street gang that operates primarily on the east side, of Detroit. Uh, we already established that. Um, the S and B consists of older individuals and a bunch of. Other gangs, they say they belong to the People's Nation and all that. That's that's not true. That's totally false. But, you know, this is the feds. This is the feds. On or about November 10th, 2015, Jeffrey Adams posted on his Facebook status, riding around and getting my up arm strong for lifting texts up. Pussy niggas throw your sets up. I dare nigga disrespect us. Red zone. Data. Beehive, no, we not trying to cease fire. Gripping looks like some new pliers. Steaming is because we keep arms. That's, that's that's a nice rap. I ain't gonna lie to you. For definitely for Facebook status, get a nice. Um, on or about November third, two thousand fifteen, Robert Brown posted on his Facebook Zone Life Man and Boys a hundred years. On about October fourteenth, Robert Brown posted a picture of himself on Facebook, flashing a fifty five gang sign with the title. R.P. Whites, R.P. Block. Uh, when they say whites, I'm not sure who they talking about. White boy or wipe out. Or, or, excuse me, little white. I, I'm not too sure. Um, October 2nd, 2015, Jeffrey Adams posted on his Facebook status that a certain SMB Enterprise member was a federal informant owner about... Um, damn, they, they post a lot of... Anyway... Another guy, Jeffrey, uh, oh, excuse me, Jeffrey Adams, his Facebook status, uh, he hit with the comment, the feds just took my AR that my bro holding. Golly. On or about September 28th, Jeffrey Adams posted on his Facebook status, bro, a B, 
uh, good um, bond money on deck. Free the guys. September 26th, Billy Arnold and Stephen Arthur were arrested in possession of a Bushmaster on or about uh, September 26th of 2015. Enterprise member D was arrested in possession of a P89 Ruger 9mm handgun and a car driven by Orlando Shy, and which included Jafar Adams and another SMB Enterprise member. On September 26, 2015, Billy Arnold texted Eugene Fisher that I need to get in your crib and grab my hookups. Um, that's very vague. I don't know how they could use that. Hookups could mean anything. Uh, on or about July 27, 2015, Jeffrey Adams posted on his Facebook status is 10 different gangs in one group and y'all still ain't with us. He talking about the Foto guys. It is is they like 10 deep. Uh, I forget what they call the alliance, but the Foto guys consist of like Boss Hog and Whatever other games they got over there, right? We ain't going to get into too, deep, too much detail. And some of this stuff, I really don't know. And I forget. It's a different game every damn day out here, man. Um, on or about May 10th, 2015 in Detroit, Billy Arnold, Robert Brown, and others shot over 60 rounds of ammunition at a car containing DP, DC, and JG. Uh, I guess they abbreviated or made the initials to keep their identities concealed or... Maybe it's somewhere in a, a di the part of the indictment that's not on here. But 60 rounds. Damn. <laughs> on or about May 9th, 2015, Billy Arnold sent a text message to Robert Brown and stated, man, I just hope you strap. I'm tired of losing because don't be strapped. And in uh, they own world's real dog to which Robert Brown replied, Bodo or Baldo. This is how they spelled it. It's not me doing it. Uh, May 9th, 2015, Billy Arnold sent a text message to Derek Kennedy that stated, dog, I ain't trying to hit that shit, dog. I got to get gone. Sell me a AR for seven. And it's a now with the chopper. We getting both. I got to get back down that way. Get my sh dip. Don't play with me right now, man. I know we always talking, but this block and I'm ready to die right now. Um... <clears throat> On about May 9th, 2015, Billy Arnold and Derek Kennedy sent numerous text messages to each other in reference to narcotics transactions until they finally agreed to meet up at Eugene's Fisher house. Uh, on about May 8th, 2015, Billy Arnold sent Matela Scott a text message that stated you should hear about that uh, guest insinuating a shooting. On about May 8th, 2015, DR one was killed mw was shot in the neck hand and chest dr2 was shot in the head by billy arnold keith keithian porter and orlando shy in detroit michigan about uh may 2nd 2015 billy arnold sent a text message to material scott to state i can't talk to you sis i don't even care for living that's why everything you heard about dropping after we lost him i was on it and i'm not stopping everybody dies everybody girls it, uh, it don't matter. It's over. You, th that wasn't nothing yesterday. It's more and many more to come. I love y'all. Just know I got y'all forever. May 1st, Billy Arnold sent text message to Robert Brown and stated, I got shot out last night. Dub left me and a bullet pierced my hoodie. Uh, May 1st, 2015, RC was shot multiple times by Billy Arnold and Keithian Porter. Them boys was out there wild. Man. On about April 11th, Robert Brown and other SB Enterprise members assaulted DT and took DT's shoes, cell phone, and other property. On about two, uh, April 1st, 2015, Robert Brown posted a picture of marijuana on Facebook. The title FaceTime I got happy when y'all ready. Facebook friends and family. On about March 3rd, 2015, Robert Brown posted on his Facebook on the 5, I love my niggas. I will ride or die for my niggas. This is to all my niggas. We ain't losing. No more brothers. Everybody squad and comment for AKA White Boy Jason. RIH 5, 20 years blood zone life. Jeffrey Adams posted 2015 in March. I'm war ready at all times. Triple zero hashtag game. Uh, Jeffrey Adams posted again, full court press on the streets. If you're not, f uh, hashtag H555 or triple zero or gangs dropping. 
I don't have to keep going through this, man. It, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Not even to mention hard work. Jig pointing out over 55 members, identi or excuse me, identifying over like 49 members out of 69 pictures he was shown by the feds. It's a valuable lesson learned in this, man. If you're going to be criminal, you can't be on a Facebook and, and, and text messages. Golly. I hope them brothers get another shot at life. Sometimes we get caught up in this stuff and we talk the wrong way and we believe this and believe that when it really don't even be the case, man. Peace and blessings.